Oh, well, look at that. See, your performance as manager is having a positive effect on the players. It's working. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Fairly Determined FM with me. My name's Chris. I hope you're doing well. Sounded very disingenuous, didn't it? I do hope you're doing very well, though. We remain top of the table. We have lost once again, but we do sit top of the table still. We're 10 points clear of Eggerson, currently in second, although Moss are also in second, technically, kind of, with, uh, with the same amount of points. Uh, but they're not technically kind of, because goal difference is a thing. So Moss are in third. Since we last met, what, what was the last game? Oh, it was the cup special, wasn't it? The last game. Mm, the last episode was the cup special where we got twatted by Rosenborg. In the league, we went on to beat Vic Halden, though we made a lot of, you know, we made it difficult for ourselves. 2-1 only. Uh, and then we lost to Moss. 0-1 or 1-0, however you want to say it. Uh, then there was a massive gap. So that the, the last game... In, in, in the league was the 9th of July and we're not playing now until the 13th of August so it's a massive sort of gap in the middle of the summer here so I arranged a couple of friendlies uh, first one was against our B team who we just battered 4-2 uh, 6-2 rather I trialled out a new 4-4-2 system which I'll show you in a sec and then we played Vidar who I actually managed in a previous FM ages ago uh, and I love them because I've got a really cool badge with a lion on it uh, but that, that was a that was a 1-1 draw, 91st minute equaliser for Vidar. Today we've got Stahl and today we've got Sotra. We beat both of those teams last time out. We beat Sotra 2-0 and we beat Stahl 1-0. So I'm hoping that we can go on to beat them again this time out and uh, cement our plays, get us another six points on the board, take our total for the, for the season so far to 42, which would be really bloody good at this stage of the season. So Tactica, I mentioned about that 4-4-2. Uh, I've been trying it out because we've got two really good strikers in Haberstad and... Uh, in Haberstad, he's a very good striker, decent finishing. His his termination, teamwork, work rate is, is really good, very brave. He's a big, strong lad. So I thought as a target man, as a target man or a pressing forward or, or a, uh, even a deep lying forward, maybe, I thought he he would make sense with uh, alongside, uh, you know, main man Helm, who is also a very well, he's a bit more well-rounded, I think, than than than, uh, than Haberstad is. Got a bit, bit more technically about him, less physically, uh, less mentally, but... Yeah, I think the two of them together, it can work. So that's what I was trying to trying to do. So this is kind of what I think it would look like um, in in real terms. So we've got a, a wide playmaker on the right hand side, um, supported by a wing back on attack. Who's going to be? He's going to be. The idea is that the wing back on attack gets gets forward, and the the wide no no no, and then the uh, the wide playmaker so feeds him balls essentially. Uh, Defensive central midfielder on this side sort of cover for the fact that these two are sort of marauding around this half of the pitch and not doing much defensively. Uh, Mazala making the runs up into this area and then a winger, as standard, getting to the byline, whipping in crosses. And then we've got the wing back on support uh, again, supporting these two because they're going to be marauding up that side. So, no, no, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Why are you doing that? It's pretty basic um, and I think it works, but I'm not prepared to try it mid season. I think it's the sort I, I used it in the friendlies. Uh, sort of switch between it. I think it might be something that I look to do should we go up, because I think when we, if, when, if we go up, we're going to be a weaker team in that division. And I think two banks of four, you know, four, four and two, I think could work. But for, for the remainder of the season, we are going to stick with the tried and true, the tried and true four, two, three, one, because it has been doing us very, very well. If you've been enjoying the series so far, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I can see the stats. A lot of you are not subscribed and I don't like it. I'm kidding. I like that you're watching the videos. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. I just like seeing the numbers go up. The team, again, picks itself. We've got Stores in goal, Gedimini, Klerich, Mbop, and Race at the back. Martha Newson and Salt, because I've, uh, I've satisfied Martin Torp's annoyance now by playing him enough in the last few games. I don't have to play him anymore. Uh, so it's Martha Newson and Salt back into the middle. Ling, Ling Christensen, Lil Lovo, Mindseth behind Andreas Hellem. It is Andreas Hellem, isn't it? I think I do this every time. It is Andreas Hellem. Andreas Hellem, by the way. 11 goals for the season. 11 goals. Three assists. Oh, yeah, he's he's a very good... He's a, he's a nuisance, is what I would call him. He's a nuisance. Uh, you watch him score absolutely nothing in this two-game period. The board have announced that this game is a fan day, so I'm going to try pumping the fists. We are the favourites. Go on out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Nope. Nope, they don't care. They don't care. They do not care. Yeah, so they have sorted this largely... These haven't changed. These are these these remain the same. But every time you go to a friendly or a cup competition, this changes and this changes from the league table. Much like it did in league in in uh, in FM twenty one, it's still annoying. I'm still going to complain about it, and you're going to get really sick of it. 
over the course of the manager's journey. We've got another, what, nine, ten months of this yet. Yeah? Just strap in. Uh, the highlight is happening, by the way. Lynn Christensen is down on that left-hand side. He's gone all the way to the byline line, but Danielson, injured Danielson, nicked it off him. He finds Leonidas, who uh, tries to... Oh, it was a very good ball, but it didn't quite come off. Salt now on the ball for us. Helm is in through the defence, and Dobrolinski makes the save. Helm really should have scored that. That pass, by the way, that uh, Stuhl tried to pull off would have been amazing. I wouldn't have minded conceding that goal. 25 minutes gone and uh, nine shots, five on target. None of them really that exciting. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. It's saying something that Dobrolinski is on a seven. Everyone else on that team is poor. Lynn Christensen is going to be over this. Oh, get a meanie over this free kick. I do apologise. He's going to take the shot. He is over the bar. Over the bar. Yeah, uh, it's telling that their defence are uh, are the highest rated players on the pitch. Um, and it's annoying that ours are not. Look at Lynn. Oh, Helm on a 6.3. I was saying how good you were before the game, and you're doing this to me. Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, mm, Habstad going on, and Martha, Torp is going on for Martha Newson, and I'm also going to make a third sub. Fredrickson's going on for race. We're having a lot of the ball. I'm going to go about, I'm going to go attack him. They're giving us so much of the ball. It's 70 minutes on the clock. It's not happening. Not happening at all. Right, Habstad, I'm going to do this. I haven't trained this, uh, and I don't, I do have a striker. Christian Eriksen can come on as a striker. Um, D -d 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 -d, I think, an advance forward on that side with Haberstad as a deep line forward, dropping into this space here, linking up with the, Vel the Segundo Volante. That's what I think I'm going to try. Yes. Let's give this a, let's give, it a while, give it a while for the next 15 minutes. It's, um, yeah, it's been an exciting game, isn't it? What, how many, hi two highlights? Two highlights. One of them was, I think, a poor shot. No, a good save. And the other one was a free kick. 88 minutes on the clock. It's, it's, uh, mm, it's going to end 0-0. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Do you know what? That was so terrible. I might put a third episode, a third, uh, a third match in this episode because that was shocking. Hmm. Disappointing. Very, very disappointing. So like my shelf. Got some shelves put up. I can't use a drill because I'm scared of the noise. But my, so my dad did it. Nice, isn't it? Got a little ghost up there. Got some uh, a skull. You see Spider Man? Spider Man there. I'm not scared of the noise of the drill. I should point out. It doesn't like you know. It doesn't make me cower in fear. It just hurts my ears. I find it very, very unsettling. That's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Stop laughing. I'm not ashamed. Stop laughing, though. Disappointing reaction to fan day. Yeah, well, it was shit, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 that's the other thing. I am now studying for my National C licence. I finally convinced the board to let me do it. So that's good. Get the first badge under my belt. Um, I don't know if it can. If I get sacked before I complete the studies, does it carry on? Because the board paid for it. Do I have to pay them back? Or does it just transfer to my next club? I'm going to start Haberstad over Helm. I was very, very disappointed with Helm in that last game. But apart from that, the lineup remains the same, except also one more thing. Torp is in for Martha Newson because he picked up uh, booking in that last game and he's suspended. Yeah, see, they like that. The media are giving you a lot of credit. Go out there. Right, we're away to Sotra. They've got some, oh, we've got some fans behind the goal. Lovely. They are on a two-game winning run, but they are managerless right now. Can we overcome the disappointment that was that horrendous nil-nil against Stahl and actually score a goal? That would be... I'd like to score a goal. At the moment, we've had two shots, one on target. It's 15 minutes on the clock. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like teams might have sussed me out a little bit and I need to adjust tactically, but I don't quite know how. You know? I don't quite know what to do. We're having all of the game, but there are no highlights. None at all. What to do? What to do? I don't know. Come on, boys. Let's, can, can I have a highlight? It's really hard to talk about football manager matches when there are no highlights. It's very difficult. They haven't... Mm. Okay. Okay. Right. Bugger it. Bugger it. Bugger it. Bugger it. We're, we're doing it. We're, we're switching to the 4-4-2. Let's do it. And we're going to have an attacking 4-4-2 going on. That's, that's, it's, it's happening. I wasn't planning on using it, but no, like we've had two games now where the, the highlights have just dried up. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Let's bloody well do it. See what happens. Second half. I brought on uh, Helen, by the way, in place of Torp. Uh, that doesn't... Oh, oh, we've got a highlight. We've got a highlight. Right, race to salt. I don't care if this highlight's rubbish. It's a highlight in the 53rd minute. First one of the match. Helen is in. He gives it to Haberstad. Haberstad is fouled. That's going to be a penalty. Come on. Good stuff. Uh, we missed our last two penalties, though. So 
Helm is on this. Come on, Helm. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. He has not let me down. It's 1 0. Back of the net. Good stuff. 1 0. Good. I like it. 4 4 2 stays. <laughs> Temporarily. Until I get bored of it. Right. We're going to go. Uh, I, yeah, I don't even see the penalty. It went in. Uh, oh, I like straight from the kickoff. We're going to go balance now to see just how the rest of the game plays out. Falk. Salt wins that ball brilliantly. Lynn Christensen does not. Helm has been played in, though, by Lil Lovo. Helm chips the keeper for two. Is that going to count? It is going to count. Fantastic. <laughs> ah, the 4 4 2 wins. Lynn Christensen wins the ball and then loses the ball. But then Lil Lovo, with a, just a pass, completely splits their defence. And Helm, just a saucy little chip. Just a saucy little over the keeper. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. And was he onside? Was he on? Yes, he was. That the left back, right back was playing him on. Ha <laughs> ha! Loser. So the gap between midfield and attack is far too big, and the supply from the midfield just isn't getting anywhere. So what do we do there then? Wide playmaker on attack. He cannot play this this role, by the way. Let's try that. See what happens. We're, we're two 0 up. Two 0 up. We are now eleven points clear at the top of the league. Uh, another highlight. Mine Seth is on the ball, just made him that wide playmaker on attack. He's dribbling around uh, this uh, this left-sided defender guy. Left-sided defender guy. Umbop is on the ball now. He switches the play over to Gedimini. Gedimini gives it to Lil Lovo. Lil Lovo finds Helm, uh, but the ball is cleared. Kind of. Madsen. Falk is in. Is that going to be a goal? That's a great save from Stores. Great save. Clear it? You're going to clear it. Brilliant. <laughs> Mine Seth. They do eventually clear the ball away. Yeah, see, they had a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, match momentum there, but we've got it back nicely. Ninety minutes on the clock. It's two 0 Let's just put five minutes of added time on. We're going to win the game. We're eleven points clear at the top. Result. So I think the four four two could work. It might just need a little bit of tweaking. We're only eleven points clear uh, because Moss and Eggerson are several games behind us now, uh, but we are still eleven points clear. So I'm going to take it. Should we play a third game? I've only been recording for 20 minutes. This will be a very short episode. Otherwise, yes, we will play the third game. I'll see you for it in a minute. Here we are then, third game of the episode. If you like three game episodes, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep doing it until you do it. I have confidence in the boys. Gedimini on this throw and gives it to Lynn Christensen. He finds Gedimini again. Lynn Christensen's in. Helm shoots, scores 1-0, eight minutes on the clock. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Helm was offside. Not lovely stuff. Not lovely stuff. Was he though? No, yeah, I mean he was. He was. He was. If I think if Lynn Christensen had gone down then under that tackle, we'd have got the penalty, which would have been um, you know, much better than an offside goal. Killerick on the ball gives it to Hofstad. At the back finds oh, it was a good, very good defensive header. Uh, Martha Newson tries to clear the ball out to the wing, but uh, it looks wow. No, I thought that was arrowing in here, but it wasn't. Who the hell are we playing? Vard? Vard, we're playing Vard. I didn't even say who we're playing. Uh, we're playing Vard. Yeah, this um, we're having a lot more of the ball, but not many attempts on the goal. So um, there may be... Oh, Race, what are you doing? What are you doing, Race? You ran into the... Oh, and he just jumped in with a tackle there. That's a great goal. Race has... Race has had an absolute shocker there. Like a proper, proper bad shocker. He's lost the ball, dived in on a tackle, taking himself completely out of the play. And uh, we are 1-0 down. Uh, away from home, I'm very... I'm quite disappointed. Quite disappointed. We've only had one shot on target out of four, not really creating any chances. I think lining up in a 4-4-2 against another 4-4-2 is probably not the best way to do this. Maybe. So we're going to go back. Unsurprisingly, we're going to go back to uh, to what we know. And uh, yeah, we go out for the second half like this instead. Much higher defensive line. Yeah. Yeah. Do I want to... Yeah, I might actually... I might really want to try and hem them in because I feel like they're going to try and... I feel like they're going to try and sit back now and defend the lead. So if we can just keep them in their half, they are going to punt long balls over. Holstad wins that. Torp wins the second header. Lynn Christensen into the middle of the park. Finds Mindset on the right-hand side. Get a cross in. He does have a stat. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, I hit the mic. Sorry, it's off the post. Find Torp. Gives it back to Gedimini. Uh, see, you, we are keeping them like hemmed in. They cannot get out. Lil Lovo. Brilliant header from Lil Lovo. Finds Lynn Christensen. Oh, what a save from their keeper. Oh, that's annoying. That was really good play. Corner. Get him in. He stands over it. He swings it in. Martha Newson. Oh, thought it was in. Thought it was in. 70 minutes on the clock. We are all over them, but we cannot break them down. 
Smedplas with the ball, punts it forward. Are we going to win that? We are. Lil Lobo finds good Ericsson. Ericsson puts it forward to Mainz. Great ball. Great ball. No. How have you not scored that, Mindseth? How have you not scored that? Scaled to Dominguez. Dominguez finds Jensen on the right-hand side. That's a great ball. No one was on him. Jensen crosses it in. Oh, pissing heck. They've done us. They've absolutely done us here. Oh, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed at this match more than the other ones. Renberg gets a late, late consolation goal. I'm more annoyed about that than I am about the nil-nil because we shouldn't... The nil-nil was at least a draw. That we should not have lost. Really disappointing. We're having a little bit of a blip. Just this last couple of months, you know, it's been a little bit more difficult. We've, we lost in the... Obviously lost in the league the first time to Ullen. Then we got knocked out of the cup. And we've lost in the league again. Then we've picked up a draw and now another loss. It's it's a it's the wrong time of the season to be having a bit of a wobble, and I've got to do these next two games. I think against Floyd and Eggerson, I've got to be emphatic. Big wins from us because this is getting mm, it's getting mm, it's getting dicey. It's getting dicey. We are still ten points clear, but it's getting dicey. Right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more um, you know up and down average performances from us. Cheers. All the best. Bye.